So this one, we've got these two binomials that we're taking the square root of. So notice we've added, or we've put addition and subtraction in each square root. But the principle here is still the same. So I'm just going to take the square root of x plus 5. I'm going to put that in parentheses, though, because now I'm going to be multiplying that by x minus 5. So I have this quantity here, right? These two binomials being multiplied together. So I'm going to multiply the x's first, which would give me x squared. Then I'll take the x times that negative 5, which would be a negative 5x. Now I'll multiply 5 times x, which would be a positive 5x. And 5 times negative 5 is a negative 25. And of course, all this is still under a square root. So if I wanted to simplify this, here I've got negative 5x, which will cancel out this positive 5x. They just become 0. And I end up with the square root. Um, I still got that x squared and minus a 25 here. But um, that's not a perfect square either. So that's it right there. So yeah, the, the x, x squared is a perfect square, but it's being subtracted from something. So I would need to be able to factor out that binomial into some type of perfect square in order to make it uh, come out of